What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. Um, Bob Arum made a semi-prediction on Deontay Wilder uh, versus Anthony Joshua if that fight were to happen. And he said it can be, and I quote, night, night, Joshua. And the reason why he was saying that uh, Joshua Chin, Joshua's chin is questionable and Deontay Wilder, we know he has a powerful white right hand. Here's how I feel about that statement. Well, forget how I feel about that statement. I don't think I ever truly expressed how I feel about the matchup between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. And I'm going to piggyback off of what Bob Arum said. What makes that fight so intriguing to me is that I've seen Anthony Joshua dropped and wobbled a few times, okay? Um, with that said, Deontay Wilder has, is the most devastating, most powerful puncher in the game and in history when it comes to the, the heavyweight division. So that's what makes it so intriguing. On top of that, Deontay Wilder, he has fast hands and he throws in a very awkward, from a very awkward position. And I think I need you guys to, to really hear me out on this. I know there's a lot of eye rolls right now. But just hear me out. Try to be fair. Try to be balanced, okay? If you can. Anthony Joshua, to me, is a very uh, standard uh, textbook boxer, okay? And I think he's great at it. He's very textbook. Um, and he will devastate. He will just totally dominate anyone else who fights textbook, okay? I always said the biggest problem who, who poses the biggest issue for Deontay Wilder is someone like Tyson Fury because the way he moves is very slick and you have to be able to be that slick defensively to avoid Deontay Wilder's right hand for 12 straight rounds. It's not going to happen. And like I said, Deontay Wilder doesn't have to hit you clean to hurt you. Okay. And you saw that with um, the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder fight. Um, Tyson Fury is extremely, extremely slick with a crazy reach. He has all the things that would give Deontay Wilder a straight up matchup problem. And we saw that the, the first fight. I always thought that any conventional heavyweight, Deontay Wilder will actually would has a huge chance of knocking out because they, you know, when you're conventional, you know where the boxer is going to be. Okay, Deontay Wilder, him being unconventional and swinging the way he swings, a conventional boxer isn't used to those type of angles and they can get caught. Now, I'm not saying I give the edge to Deontay Wilder because of that, because I think in a matchup with uh, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, what Anthony Joshua has is a very disciplined offense, okay? So I think his offense would be his best defense against a Deontay Wilder, shooting a jab and staying busy with that because like when you saw with Ortiz against Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder wasn't that comfortable punching because Ortiz had a very effective jab and the way he was boxing, I mean, the first couple rounds, Ortiz took more than half the fight. You know, at, I mean, he just was running away with the fight because he was controlling it. And Deontay Wilder wasn't, he wasn't comfortable swinging, so he wasn't busy. So I see that with Anthony Joshua, him being so disciplined, him being so strong with his punches, the boy can hit, okay? And with his disciplined jab and everything else being textbook offensively, I think that will pose a problem for Deontay Wilder. So that's why I love the matchup so much. But I think Deontay Wilder, all he needs is one or two. If he, he swings one of those wild swings, and with uh, Anthony Joshua not being as slick as Tyson Fury, he could get caught easily. I, the way Anthony Joshua holds his guard and how he goes forward and backwards, straight forward and backwards, he can get caught easily. And with his chin being questionable, he can definitely be dropped multiple times. So that's why I'm so thirsting for that fight. I'm craving for that fight. Like I said, Deontay Wilder isn't the most disciplined fighter in the world. Actually, he kind of sucked as far as a boxer, okay? But that makes no difference when your right hand, if it lands anywhere in the vicinity of your face, you're you're hitting the canvas, okay? And like I said, he, he punches with speed. 
So, and, and he could punch from kind of anywhere. He jumps into his punches. It's very unorthodox. And the slickness of Tyson Fury was able to counter that. You know, he was able to off balance that. Plus with his heart, that guy always gets off the canvas. Okay. So I'm just saying, I understand where Bob Arum is coming from. I can echo his whole idea of, you know, if Deontay Wilder catches Joshua is night, night Joshua. That's an absolutely for sure. I mean, if I'm, everyone should know that you got one of the most devastating punches in the history of, of the heavyweight division. And you have Anthony Joshua, who isn't known for having a solid rock hard chin. He's been dropped and wobbled um, on a few occasions. OK, so that makes sense. So Bob Arum isn't wrong with what he's saying. But as far as predicting that fight, you know, it's hard. It's hard because Anthony Joshua has such a disciplined offense. OK, and I think that works in his favor uh, in this fight. You know, he can control the fight with the jab and he can keep uh, Deontay Wilder off balance and he can keep him uh, not so confident in throwing his right hand and throwing his big loop and shots as long as Anthony Joshua stays disciplined. So I love that fight. I love that matchup. And Bob Arum, um, that's how he feels. And I think he's very accurate on that side of things. I just don't think he's um, really thinking about what Anthony Joshua brings to the table offensively. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Show biz the don't. Thank you guys for hanging in there yesterday. I know I post many uh, videos and I only posted one yesterday because I was on a quick little vacation, but I'm back. I'm out. Huh.